boys, I am pissed. I am angry. Some may even say I am absolutely livid at what Konami has yet again pulled off to no one's surprise, to be honest. But yeah, yeah, you know, we had a selection box before Master Duel came out, a selection box that was ultimately not that great, if we're being honest. It had Blackluster Soldier and Bottomless Trap Hole, two cards that no one really thought on release would really do anything so no one really cared but then uh then they uh turned around with some bullshit then they turned around and said nah we're gonna change all that holy shit all of the goodwill that konami has been building with dual links feels like it's pretty much shattered with the recent selection box release we haven't had a rye rant video in a while so i'm a rant i'm a complain i'm a bitch and moan and i'm a explain why uh, I, I do not like selection boxes here in this little video. Um, we'll talk about the good first. There is reinforcements of the army coming. This is a two kind of video. Wow, Rye Ramp plus uh, new updates coming to the game. Reinforcements of the army, great. I love the idea of having strong limited one cards come out and you're able to purchase them with gems. I think that is a phenomenal idea. One of the best ideas that Konami has had for this game in a while. What I do not like at all is this bullshit selection box mini volume four compulsory evacuation device and dimensional fissure dark eruption as well but these two cards specifically are absolutely amazing compulsory evacuate evacuation device is going to be amazing on ladder and in best of one and the dimensional fissure is going to be great in, in best of one and best of three specifically it's going to be very very good you like necro valley well meet the new and improved necro valley why why even care about the graveyard when you just banish the cards instead it's very very powerful is what i'm trying to get at <laughs> konami has slowly been improving duel links ever since master duel's release master duel has shown us that um the game does not need to be pay to win in order to make money. In fact, Master Duel has, by any metrics that we can count, consistently made more money than Duel Links without having predatory gacha elements. And I know what a lot of people are going to say. They're going to say, Rai, this is just a mini uh, selection box. It's not that bad to go through. The point is, and, and a lot of people are also going to say, oh, well, Rose Dragon you know, is, is paywalled. Why don't we care as much about something like that? The thing is, if I put money into a game, right? If I put the $20 or whatever to buy a structure deck, I know exactly how many cards I'm going to get. And I know the exact cost of the cards. If compulsory device came out and dimensional fissure came out and they cost me 50 bucks and I can get a play set of both, that would be okay. The problem with this is it's gacha. Right? It's, it's, it's RNG if you actually end up getting it or not. Some people may get it from free to play. If you guys remember, they actually increased how many uh, free to play players, how many packs they can open for selection boxes. Some players are going to be able to do that. Other players are going to spend like $200 just to get a play set of these cards. And these cards are high impact cards. This is not like the other selection box where the cards are like, eh, they're, they're okay and they'll help. No, compulsory evacuation device is amazing. It, it provides a bounce back to the hands. It's basically a, a better karma cut uh, for decks. And we know it's a UR trap, so it's not going to come for a long time. It's not going to get hit on the ban list. And overall, in a game like Duel Links, where we use shitloads of back row, this is one of the best back row that ever existed in Yu-Gi-Oh!, this card will see play. And it will absolutely, if you want to, like, you know, reach the high ends of KCGT, if you want to reach the high ends of community tournaments, you're going to have a play set of this card. Dimensional Fissure, probably not so much for KC Cup and, and, the, and, and you know, like, your typical ladder play, but from a community perspective where we host best of three tournaments, you know, for a company that says they don't really care about the community tournaments, sure is interesting that Dimensional Fissure comes out as a UR because they know people will go for it because they know the best tournaments are free. You can go to Discord down in the description down below and play in them all the time. And that's and people are going to go for that. And that is absolutely, in my opinion, sickening. The worst part of Duel Links is the selection box system. It's always been the selection box system. The game is too expensive to play. And this is one of the reasons that makes it so expensive. It's already expensive enough that I have to go and buy the new main box, the new mini box, 
It's already expensive if you live in a country outside the United States to buy a structured deck sometimes, depending on your currency. It, 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 it's time consuming to farm event cards. It, 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 like if you want to play Rose Dragon right now, you can't because the event cards are gone. You know what I mean? So your only other option is to invest in heavily into main boxes, mini boxes. Your gems are going to be gone by then. And then boom, selection box comes out. And if you want to be a competitive high end player, you have to go and get these cards. You don't have an option. And, and I think that is just absolutely insanity. When the cards coming out are going to be uh, so powerful and they're going to be limited and paywalled in this fashion. And I understand that Compulsory is immediately going to be limited three. And a lot of people are like, oh, that's a little bit better. No, that's worse. <laughs> that makes it even worse. Because all that means is if you have an old deck like Burning Abyss, you're not going to have access to this card. But newer decks, are, the, the, the problem with the way they, they the limit three system, because you are trap cards, don't go to limit two and limit one and forbidden, is new decks that come out, for example, uh, Black Rose Dragon, Black Rose Dragon should not be playing limit three cards, limit two cards even. They should not be playing those cards. The TTH is so out of control right now, especially in Black Rose Dragon, because Black Rose can abuse it so, so easily and is able to get multiple copies off if they have multiple copies right now. They should not be able to play those cards, but those decks are not going to see a hit until a Casey Cup happens. You know what I mean? It's like even like when a new deck comes out, they will be able to abuse compulsory evacuation device until they get nerfed <laughs> which just makes the issue even worse because if you are willing to wail on the game you just have such a huge advantage because now you have a ur trap card that will not be limited for a very long time uh with a brand new deck that you have that will also not be limited for at least three months and if even if it is you can probably still you know tech and dimensional pr uh, fissure if you wanted to do something like that so selection boxes are absolutely disgusting I am very saddened to see that Konami has brought them back because for a long time I thought they were done with selection boxes. I thought, and, and this is all like, you know, some people might be like, oh, well, you're coping. You shouldn't have thought that way. But I don't know. I gave them the benefit of the doubt. They released a selection box that had nothing relevant in it. No one cares if you have bottomless trap hole or not. That card's already been power crept. Uh, and Blackluster Soldier is also power crept. We have, you know, Levianir in the game already. Um, so, you know, that, that that box I had no issues with it coming out. I, I thought anyone that went into it, it was, they were just wasting their money. Um, and I've, I've been loving them releasing these bundles with the one SR. You know, I'm, I'm happy to see that we're getting reinforcements to the army. Even if that was paywalled, like if you actually had to pay like $5 to get the one copy of that card, I wouldn't be mad about that because at least you know what you're getting. But when you hide gacha behind a paywall Konami, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. No one wants to deal with that. That is absolute horseshit. The competitive players, the ones that are going to want to compete, are going to spend money because how else are they supposed to compete? I understand where they're coming from. But people who are not interested, people like me, are gonna be are gonna be less likely to come back and play Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. And they know they don't have to do this to make money. Master Duel makes so much money for not doing anything. The whole game is free to play and somehow still makes more money. Why don't they just copy that system? And I don't know, folks, after seeing this, it feels like we're not gonna be having any sort of, um, you know, crafting system or, I, I just don't see that happening. If, 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 if they somehow are able to add a crafting system or reduce the cost of the game after doing this, I would be extremely, extremely surprised. Um, but yeah, I mean, too long, didn't watch the video. Konami's adding a very powerful selection box mini. I think that paywalled gacha services are extremely shitty. I think that if this comes out, this should come out with free to play players being able to go through the whole as many packs as they want using gems and don't have to deal with actually putting money into the game. I think. I, I, I just think the selection box system is, is one of the worst aspects of Duel Links, if not the worst aspect of Duel Links, and I am very disheartened to see that after all the hard work they put in to bring Duel Links back into a good game state, they go and push, put this shit in to essentially put it right back to where it was before. All those extra gems that they've been giving you up until this point don't matter anymore in the face of Mini Selection Box Volume 4. That's going to be it for this Rye Rants. Konami, do better. Stop being a piece of shit. I love you guys so much. Peace out.